Hello everyone, it's Gloria. Welcome back to Tinker Wonderland. For today's video, I am going to share with you this beautiful hanging spider web hanging decor that I just made. Originally, it is a dream catcher, but it turns out a very beautiful Halloween uh, spider web decor. So, uh, if you guys interested to see how I made it, just keep watching and I will share this with you right now. so here we go guys for this project we're gonna be doing um spider web halloween decor we're gonna be using this bi uh, bicycle wheel ri ring that i got from dollar tree as you can see it is it's already formed into like a web so i decided to use this one actually i already made uh, something like this uh, a couple years ago and uh then I all I decided to pick a purple and a black color for now for the yarn. I'm also gonna be using scissor, my favorite super glue, go uh, super glue because I am um, uh, lazy to use my hot glue gun. I am not sure if I'm going to use this kind of spider, but uh, I have multiple kinds of spider here. Um, maybe i'm gonna use some other some of this and also this kind of spider that we have on my uh, stash and like i said i don't know which one i'm going to use for this uh, project yet but uh, i pull out all of my spider spider um uh, collection here and i also have this spider ring here at the uh, it is um, originally in orange color <laughs> so i use i also use some of this uh, uh, for my uh, last couple years uh halloween hanging web decor too spider web decor so i have uh, this ribbon and uh, and also again <laughs> super glue and also some of this uh, feathers so i have um this black and purple feather that will match to our black and purple yarn and i am not sure if i'm going to pull out some other colors here too but uh, everything is ready for me so let's start so first i am um, i uh, wrap this uh, uh bicycle wheel ring wreath form that i uh, bought from dollar tree i wrap it with the yarn uh, and inside inside of this ring i wrap the black uh, yarn into it and then on the outside i use the purple yarn so and now here i wrap uh, i put some of this yarn into a popsicle stick so i can easily uh, manipulate this or um uh, put it in my uh wreath or ring bicycle ring wreath form here so now i am going to show you how i uh, wrap the whole thing with this yarn so i just i will just keep on uh, doing that and i will get back to you once uh, some of this is done i'll be back guys <music>
So here you go guys, as you can see, I alternate the yarn with the two different colors. We have the purple, the black, purple, and black alternating to each other with this uh, um, bicycle with ring form that I uh, got from Dollar Tree. And right now, here I am going to show you how I loop this uh, yarn into the bones of our uh, bicycle wreath here. I try to uh, make it a little loose so it will be uh, uh, adjustable and uh, uh, it will look better than the, uh, than uh, doing it tight. We don't want to do it tight guys because it's it will not be uh, movable as if you, as you can see this is how I uh, made it. So I uh, also estimate the distance between in between the yarn. Um, I make it like I said. I make it a little uh, loose, so it will. Uh, I can move it the way I want it. And as you can see, there is no um, uh, certain. Uh, what you call this? There is no certain um, distance or a certain measurement for the distance of our web here. So I just do it this way all around the um, bones of our bicycle weight ring. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how I uh, can end it up. Uh, maybe I just do it this way. And here we go. So I just uh, end up this uh, web, uh, web, uh, what you call this? <laughs> looping. <laughs> web looping uh, on a wreath on just this way. And here you go. I'm almost done here. And uh, like I said, guys, a better tip. Uh, just giving you a tip on how to, uh, so you can easily uh, loop your yarn in uh, in your wreath. Uh, you can uh, put it better. Put it in a popsicle stick like this, and uh, it will easy. It will be easier for you to loop the yarn in your wreath like this. So I start decided to make it this way again. There is no right or wrong in uh, making this uh, spider web guys so uh, right now i uh, add uh, i also add uh, the butterfly the butterfly not the butterfly it's spider i add the spider in our spider web here so it really it will really look nice i uh, put 
I also put the yarn and the feather and the ribbon for our tail. And uh, you also notice that the tail doesn't have any um, uh, any uh, same size <laughs> or same length. I uh, make it that way so it will give more character. I also add some feathers on it so to add more character on our uh, spider web here. Now here is the final outcome of our spider web hanging decor guys. So I added all of these small spiders here. Originally it was um, orange but I painted in black and then I uh, highlight it with some gold poppy paint to give it some highlights and here is a big spider here and then I add some feathers on our yarn here and with the ribbons as you guys see so to give it a little character and if you notice all ribbons are not in the same uh, length and also the yarns I made it that way for more character <laughs> so there you have it guys here is my spider web hanging decor for Halloween apologize for the light <laughs> I still don't have a better light here in their basement, but yeah, I think it turns out really nice. Let me know what you think, guys. Give me a comment down below. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Thank you all for watching. Now here is the two Halloween spiderweb hanging decor that I just made, guys. Actually, the first one in orange is that's what I made uh, like two years ago. Someone wants to buy it, but uh, I am so um, proud of it that I just keep it on my uh, on my uh, closet and um, I didn't. Uh, let it go <laughs> until now that i uh, decided to do another one which is the purple one and uh, to compare them together it really uh, it really it's really different to each other so this one in orange as you can see i used the big spider here it's a skeleton spider a little scary but uh, it's it really turns out really nice for me and this is the first one that I uh, made before here you go it uh, I also use uh, different uh, kinds of uh, ribbon and uh, yarn here so to give it more character and I add some um, feathers supposedly it's a dream catcher but since I made it like a Halloween hanging decor I just uh, uh, call it Halloween hanging decor guys <laughs> so here you go this is how it looks i added uh, more gray paint on our spider here so to give to highlight it to give it more uh, so our spider will pop up really really nice give it more character and that's how it turns out pretty nice and it's a little complicated to make but uh, i'm so happy with it and with this second one i use purple and black color and i also added some uh, gold paint on our spider here so give it highlights as you can see everything all of the small spiders scattered everywhere in our spider web here and this spider now is a little like a velvety the, the finish is velvet i put some 
some of the butter uh, feathers and the uh, fed black and uh, purple feather for with our yarn here and also um, a ribbon of course to give it more another character and that's how it turns out guys so for now if someone is uh, willing to uh, bail or buy something like oh, this um this hanging uh, halloween decor i'll be willing to sell this guys <laughs> if you're interested uh, check out the photo on my uh, instagram and facebook if you want to see it see it closer the closer look again it's a little complicated to make but i'm so happy with it it turns out really really nice for me so there you have it guys here is my halloween hanging spider web decor that i want to share with you today i hope you enjoy watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up that that will help my channel to grow and also inspire me to make more videos like this if you're new to this channel i would love to have you as part of our youtube family guys consider to click the subscribe button and also don't forget to click the bell button so you won't miss any of our video again if you want to avail one of this beautiful spider web hanging decor check out my instagram email me message me in on instagram or facebook anything that you want any details that you want to know about this spider web hanging decor i'll be willing to answer that as uh, as soon as i can and again thank you all for watching always be safe be healthy and i love you all guys thank you so much Bye for now. God bless everyone.